I'm hoping that this episode of CSGO Overwatch is going to function somewhat like a tutorial. I'm going to give you my personal tips on how I decide who is hacking and who isn't. Remember to take everything I say with a pinch of salt and if you can do Overwatch, go and do it yourself and practice and figure out exactly your way yourself. Anyway, let's get to reviewing this evidence. Do not forget to drop a like on this video and leave a comment. You can also tap the YouTube card in the top right of the screen to check Check out the rest of my content and I think we are just about to get this going if it actually retrieves the gaming data what does that actually mean I'm not entirely sure but we're 9-9 on Mirage he smoked this off here if he pushes through it would be slightly suspect but he's not doing that right now and so initially off the very start of this round we can't really determine anything also if we look at the position the suspect is in it's a pretty cheeky position and it could mean that the suspect has a reasonable knowledge of how to play the b site the terrorists have already planted on b site and when they rotated over there the suspect didn't like rotate early without the right information implying that they might not have walls and so again right now there is nothing really pointing to the fact that this suspect could be hacking. He's also running out here and just checking the spots normally and then gets a completely normal spray down to finish off the round. Suspect retaking on the A site, throws a nade into a position where there isn't a person, uh, an enemy, and then actually gets killed from connector. So two uneventful rounds so far and nothing that kind of lends credence to the fact that this person is in an overwatch case and could be hacking again the suspect is just playing a normal position on a site and trying to hold and is not necessarily looking at walls where there are players on the other side and it seems again quite normal behavior <laughs> And then he gets killed from behind. He is being attacked from the front, being rushed, and he's completely oblivious to people already on Tetris. And he's going to get killed? No. He's managed to survive a bit, but then, yes, the suspect goes down. And once again, <laughs> not much we can say. I feel like some top tips and telltale signs of people that are hacking that you can tell from Overwatch are the following. Firstly, always looking in directions where you can see people through walls and never really holding positions properly. For instance there, the suspect turned around, I think because he could hear the person. Now he has a good... Ooh, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to watch that back. I'm gonna have to watch that one back. But that kill, I'm not sure if you could see the AWP or not through that gap. You could very well see the AWP. I'm not entirely sure what you can see from that position, but it seemed like the suspect sprayed that person down without being able to see the person's body. The thing is about situations like that, and another top tip for Overwatch is that you should never come into a Overwatch case assuming that the person is hacking just because they are on Overwatch. See there, that was pretty normal he wasn't he was just cr trying to pre-aim okay so now when I'm looking at those shots and the way he pre-aimed that second kill it's looking a bit weird like he almost lined up the headshot through the wall is this person quite good at hiding the fact that they could have hacks or are they playing quite well and just pre-aiming angles that are the right angles to pre-aim. This is actually quite a good match to have this sort of episode on where I'm trying to give tips and explain the way I think about Overwatch because right now it's pretty difficult. Again, like the suspect is just sitting on A when the whole of the T side is rushing B. Is this person toggling on and off or are they just not responding to what's going on on the map? Are they actually not that good at the game? These are all things that you need to think of when you are doing Overwatch. The person's movement, whoever is playing, whoever is the suspect, their movement's not great. Like it's not really that smooth and it's clear that they don't have those concepts down to a T. And that is a metric that I sort of compare to their score because usually players with very good movement playing in higher skilled games tend to get good scores. And so if someone has very poor movement whilst having a high score it kind of lends to the idea that they could 
be hacking. Either way, this case is over and we need to make a decision. Let me know in the comment section what you think. There were a couple instances in this video which really made me think this person could be hacking, but the majority of the time it didn't look that bad at all. I will watch this footage through again whilst I'm editing and I will put a note somewhere on the screen at some point if I change my mind. But for now, I'm going to go with insufficient evidence because I don't think that we have any evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that this person is hacking. Again, I could be wrong and I will correct myself on screen if that is the case after I see this footage as I edit it. But that is what we are going to go with for now. And that is it for this video. I guess I can finish it with with my top tips for Overwatch. I would say number one, definitely do not just assume that everyone in Overwatch is hacking. Number two, look out for the telltale signs of people using aimbots and using wall hacks, i.e. are they looking through walls in sort of weird ways that you wouldn't usually do if you didn't have a wall hack, because people will look through walls to kind of identify sound, but if someone has a wall hack, you might see them looking through walls in very, very weird and unexpected ways. And for aim locks, watch out for for people whose crosshairs snap to players' heads. That can also happen through walls, so look out for that. And then number three, look at the movement of the player, compare it to their score, compare it to the level of the game that they are playing in. And if it looks like they don't really know what they're doing, but they are getting a lot of kills and playing in a high skilled game, then they could very well be hacking. Those are just three simple tips that you can use in Overwatch to figure out if someone is hacking or not. And if you would like to see me do more Overwatch, watch in this style where I'm giving tips and tricks on how to spot hackers, definitely let me know in the comment section and I very well might do more. If you do not know, I've been playing Counter-Strike on and off for a very long time and people that have been playing the game for a long time, generally they have an idea of what it looks like when someone is hacking. But at the same time, keep in mind that this is all my opinion and that take what I say with a pinch of salt, just like I said at the start of the video. And we, everybody, are done for now. Thank you for tuning in. Much love and peace.